do some putting first, and then we'll go to the next screen, and then we'll do some chipping. <laughs> so, uh, how many golfers do we have here? Anybody played before? I did almost one year ago. Okay, so we got some new golfers too. We're going to do some putting today. And there's only really a couple things you got to know about the putting stroke to be successful. One, when you're getting set up, it's very important that you put your eyes over the ball. So I'll give you a couple different examples. So if I'm set up, most golfers set up too far from the ball. So if I'm like this, my eyes are inside the ball. And when you watch me hit to number two here, it's likely that I'll hit the ball out to the right. Now if I made another swing and I had my ball, my eyes outside of the ball like this, now it's likely I'm going to hit the ball left of my target. Yes. If I do get my eyes right over the ball, I'm much more inclined to be able to hit my ball straight if I'm lined up, that is. So there I'm lined up straight to make a good stroke. Well, that wasn't maybe the best stroke, but at least I'm much closer on that one. So that's the setup. It's important to be balanced. Your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. The ball is generally in the middle. And the swing, very easy to remember, it's like a grandfather clock. So it's the same speed back, same speed through, same distance back, and the same distance through. Tick, tock, tick, tock. If you look at some of the best putters in the world, like Tiger Woods, same speed back and through. So if you need to hit it further, just make a bigger, faster swing. If you need to hit it a shorter distance, you just make a short, compact little stroke like that. So, why don't we get everybody a putter, we can spread out and start doing some putting. All right. There's all kinds of different links here. I've got some short ones. Uh, a little long for you to see, but let's find out. See who's tall here. You Thanks. Need a tall one? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped my club. I don't know you had a Facebook page. I just found you here. I get to post you up. <laughs> you, you know you set one up? No. no. You have one. Yeah. Is it the same as this YouTube? No, it's not. Anybody else need one? Yeah, I haven't been making videos lately. So. Yeah, I'm, that's fine. Here's Jesse. Practicing his putty. Good stroke. Okay. Good sign. Jesse, how long do you want the video for? Okay. Good putt. Oh. Nice stroke. Go to you too, a nice one. Hey, your putting stroke looks really good. Oh, right on line. online. Good stroke, Cody. Hey, Mandy, do you mind going and getting some of those balls away from the front of the hole so they can have a straight path? Oh, that would have been right in if we would hit that ball. Good stroke, Cody. Oh, you're doing a good job. Oh, 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 oh. good one. 
Keep going, Cody. Get some balls over there. Ooh, those are all. Your form looks good. Yes! Good shot. Good shot. Nice. Chi Chi Rodriguez. <laughs> Cody, we want to get you having a make on here, too. Oh, okay. See, Cody, you can be famous. You get on this YouTube video, I make am, millions. I am on YouTube, Dad. I'm on my huh. own. I want to see you get some putts in. You're the one who's talking like Super Mario, or is that Luigi? That's <laughs> Luigi's voice, isn't it? I'm not Luigi. Well, I guess I can do Luigi's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, be appropriate. You're not fun. <laughs> oh. Cody, how you doing? You rolling them good? You don't like golf? Like baseball? Yeah, baseball lost. No. Alright, Jesse, so in your putting, to make sure you don't overshoot. It's a good thing to stand with your feet much closer together. And you know what I do? I take the club back to my right foot here. Like this. Because that, that's how I know where my backswing is going to end. Right about there. So if you stand this wide and you take it back to here, you're going to make a big swing and overshoot it. So if I took a ball and I put a ball right there, that's, that's as far as your backswing needs to be. So I'll help you out. Take your setup. We're going to put the ball kind of right in the middle there. Go like this. One, two. You need to get the distance right. So it's all about how far you take the club back. Let's see you roll a couple, Cody. Where's your target? Lefty. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what it seems, seems to be so surprised with the lefty. I'm a lefty. Yeah, except I play golf right-handed. <laughs> I eat and right left-handed. I do everything else right handed. Both my fingers are used to play step main, whereas my left hand is these. You know why people are surprised to see a lefty? Because only about 15% of the golf population is left handed. And I'm not you know, part of that. In Wisconsin, it's about 20%. They say, Almost 25% in Canada. They say, they say lefties are in their right mind. I like to think yeah. so. <laughs> Okay, so this one is called the chip shot. Now, for those golfers out there, does anybody know the difference between a chip and a pitch? A lot of people don't. So a pitch shot, you use a high lofted wedge club, like a sand wedge, or a pitching wedge, or a gap wedge, something like that. That goes really high, and then lands softly. It's a little bit different swing. And the chip shot is the easiest shot. It's a low running shot. So like in basketball, the easiest shot is the layup or the slam dunk. This is supposed to be the slam dunk of golf because it's supposed to be the easiest. Doesn't always mean it is, but I think it's it's one of the most fun shots to hit. So I use a nine iron. You could use a six, seven, eight, nine. You could even use a pitching wedge. The higher the loft you use, the higher it's going to go. So a chip and run is just like a putting stroke. So my intentions are to brush the grass. If I don't take a little bit of grass. I'm not going to be able to get the club below the ball, so I won't be able to pop it up. If I take a really narrow stance and I choke down to the end of the grip, I put a little bit of weight on my left leg like this, and I'm going to make a putting stroke down to that second pin. Kind of like that. That's my chip and run. So those are a little bit higher because I'm using a 9-iron, but I've got a mixed bag of clubs anywhere from pitching wedges to nines to eights to sevens to sixes and that's about it so as long as we spread out and we're not wrapped around there we won't be hitting anybody but remember it's just a really easy simple putting stroke just like we just worked on one two so no big back swings because we don't want to hit anybody or hit anybody with a golf ball 
So let's spread out and work on our chip shot. And we're going to do it from just off the green, not on the green, but just to the side. Mr. Burns' camera. And that's the camera, too. Mr. Burns from the Simpsons? <laughs> I actually have a neighbor called Mr. Burns. Well, at Grand Grandpa's house, so. A guy at festival the other day asked me how Smithers was. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> Smithers. He thought it was really clever. He was like, saw how Smithers <laughs> Here, um, Jesse, Jesse, don't, don't chip on the green. Always make sure. You, oh, Jesse, come here. On that, on that short grass, you don't want to chip there. You always want to be on this long grass over here. Do you do know what I'm talking about? Because you can, you can, if you chunk that other, that other, um, short grass, then it's really hard for them to repair. So it, you always just want to use this club on this side. Yeah. Chopped down a tree. One of them made a whole bunch of holes in the ground. <laughs> and they got chased by the cops. Good swing. Lori. One ball on the mat at a time, or else he'll just. Amanda. Good one. Perfect. Wow, that was a great shot too. <laughs> Good swing, Jess. Good one, Amanda. That was a nice shot. Wow! Good one, Jess. 